snapping that book in half, man, cracking its back, uh, destroying it for my benefit. Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome to Mythic Melancholy. I just have a quick little tag video for you today. I'm going to be doing the reading habits tag. And as often happens, we have a guest with us today. Welcome, Clara. Uh, she's going to hang out with us while we talk about my terrible reading habits. Yeah. So I saw this tag on Olive's channel. It's kind of an older tag, but I wanted to do it. And when I see a tag, if I want to do it, I just do it. So here we are. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? Uh, sort of. I tend to read in the living room because the living room is also like the playroom and the nursery. It's kind of the all-purpose room. It's also like our bedroom right now. It, we got a lot of kids and it just kind of works out that way. So I usually read in there uh, because I don't really know where else I could read. I kind of just have to read where I can. So a bookmark or a random piece of paper. I'm worse. I'm a dog earer. Look, I always lose my damn bookmarks, okay? I can't, I can't keep a hold of them. I don't, if my, like, my kids grab them or if I set them down and I forget where I've set them, I just, get, or they fall out of my book. I don't know, I can't, I can't hold on to bookmarks. It just doesn't work. Uh, I've given up. And yeah, I dog ear my damn pages now because it's the easiest way to keep track of it. Can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a certain number of chapters, pages, at the end of a chapter, etc.? Well, I like to stop after a chapter. At the end of a chapter is where I like to stop if I'm going to stop. But, but I've got a horde of children and so I tend to just read bits where I can throughout the day whenever I can read. And so a lot of the times I can't always stop where I would like to. Um, I'm not really in charge of that. Do you eat or drink while reading? I will drink while reading. I tend to always have like a drink with me. I'm kind of just constantly thirsty because of my allergies, my throat is always dry, etc. So I usually have something to drink. I don't really like to eat while reading, not even because I'm worried about the book, but because it's just too difficult to hold a physical book and eat. Like I just, if y you know, Multitasking music or TV while reading. I, the TV is kind of always on, so that's just, I'm not usually paying attention to it. The TV is just kind of always on. I would love to be able to listen to music while reading, but I can't because whenever I'm listening to music, I just want to jam out and sing along and I get too into the music and then I can't focus on what I'm reading. I can do like uh, the lo-fi like beat stuff like the no lyrics kind of chill jams type thing but considering the tv is kind of just always on already as background i don't tend to do that very often one book at a time or several at once if you have been here literally any amount of time you know that i cannot read one book at a damn time i am reading anywhere between five to ten books at a time at all times, I have no self-control and I'm constantly starting new things depending on my mood. Reading at home or everywhere. I mainly read at home, but that's because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> the only time I go anywhere is to run errands. I don't, I don't go places, I don't do things, so I really only read at home. I do bring my Kindle along with me always just in case, especially if I'm going to like a doctor's appointment or something and I might have to wait in a waiting room for a while. But other than that, I really just read at home. Reading out loud or silently in your head. Are there people who read out loud all the time? Like to themselves? I could never, I, it would be way too slow for me. And even just filming my throat gets sore. I can't imagine just reading my books aloud. <laughs> I do read aloud sometimes because I read aloud children's books to my kids and sometimes if I'm reading a middle grade I'll read aloud parts to them as well. But in general I prefer to read just in my head. Do you read ahead or even skip pages? Not really on purpose. If I'm like really into a book I'll almost accidentally like skip forward on the page because I just want to know what happens. Uh, but then I, I do try to go back and like actually read the whole thing. If I'm not enjoying a book, I will skim read, which I guess is kind of skipping things if I'm just like really not enjoying it, but I kind of want to see if it gets better or what happens, I'll kind of skim read. Um, I don't usually like flip 
to the end to see what happens or anything like that, but I honestly wouldn't be against it because I am not someone who cares intensely about spoilers personally. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new. Okay, I'm gonna hurt everyone again here. Breaking the spine. I, snapping that book in half, man. Cracking its back. Uh, destroying it for my benefit. That, those spines are gonna be cracked. Because otherwise, I have to hold the book open weirdly. I can't like open it all the way. I like to read comfortably, and so those spines are getting cracked. Do you write in your books? If I'm annotating, yes. I've tried a bunch of different kind of post-it notes. I just don't like having to keep that many supplies by me while I'm annotating. I prefer just like having my pen and my tabs. So I just write in my books now. I don't unhaul a lot, to be honest. Um, and I don't annotate a ton. I usually only annotate things if it's something that's a reread and then I won't be getting rid of that book anyway. Or if it's something I'm doing like a live show or a read along of. So I just kind of want to have more detailed thoughts to keep the thoughts in my brain where they don't like to stay. Who do you tag? Um, Chloe from Chloe Reads Books, uh, Abby from Abby of Pelinor, and Kelly from Velvet Library. There you go, there's some tags. Otherwise, if you saw this video and you feel like doing it, consider yourself tagged, because that's how we do things here. If you want to do a tag, just do it with a tag. Have a good time. Enjoy the book tubes. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Comment down below if you hate me now because I destroy my books. Uh, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of my face. I will see you in the next one.